Hello dear Crusader Kings 3 players, I'm Athelas. I'm sure all of you have somehow encountered the dead religions, at least for one time in both Crusader Kings 3 and 2. In Crusader Kings 3, a belief is considered dead when no province or character is left believing it. And one of them is known by literally everyone, Hellenism. I assume there is no other pantheistic religion with the widespread impact that Hellenism reached today. That is why you probably decided to reanimate and spread it through the Middle Ages. You probably selected the Fate tab, scrolled down to the Hellenism with an intense enthusiasm, then clicked the convert button and was shocked a little. Yes, that is correct. Uh, as a character believing in an organized fate, the amount of piety you need is approximately 600,000. But do not worry. Although it is not really possible to gain 600,000 piety, it is possible to decrease the need for piety to approximately 10,000. It is not quite easy, however 10,000 piety is achievable. Before we continue our necromancy roleplay, uh, is it possible for you to like the video and subscribe to my channel? Uh, I really appreciate it and it will help me to record better videos and guides in the future. After a small request, we can continue with the factors that we can eliminate, maximize or minimize. Uh, the first factor is the learning level of your character. The percentage of your learning level will be eliminated from the total requirement of total requirement of piety. Therefore, it is better to educate your character in the learning path. Also, in the focus tree, there are many opportunities to increase your character's learning level which we will talk about later in this video. Another factor is pluralism. If the, if the religion you want to convert has pluralism merit, it is wise to convert it while preaching a pluralist faith. It will decrease the required piety by 25%, which has a strong impact when considering the thousands of necessary piety. And here it is, the most significant factor we need to eliminate. The cost of converting from a reformed religion to an unreformed faith. It increases the total cost by 500%. However, it is quite easy to eliminate if you plan to convert in 50 or 60 years. Send one of your children as a ward to a character with an unreformed faith and select the option Convert Faith. I especially suggest converting your children to Asatru Faith. I will define the reason later in this video. Unfortunately, it is not possible to eliminate or change the other factors. Thus, uh, we continue with the options in the focus tree that will help us through our journey. By the way, the order I will present is not strict, however, this was the most efficient focus order for me. The first path I prefer to continue is the path of theology. When it is completed, your passive piety gain will increase significantly. Therefore, uh, finishing this path first and reaching higher passive piety income in your remaining life is wise. The second tree I prefer is the Hall of a Body path. This will increase significantly and it will allow you to gain more piety via your passive income. The next focus is the most important focus. However, I prefer to open it after I finish the previously mentioned passive piety focus trees because it does not affect your piety gain. This focus is extremely important because it seems not possible to convert a dead religion without the minus 75% faith conversion cost it provides. In the remaining part, I will show you how to convert specifically to Hellenism. However, what I say is applicable to all other dead faiths. Even after you um even after you get apostate focus, the piety need is nearly 150,000. Not gonna lie, it is not quite possible to accumulate this much piety in one character. Therefore, we have to eliminate unreformed faith piety costs. As I showed you previously, convert your children's faith to an unreformed faith. Preferably Asatru. The reason behind selecting Asatru is that it has a belief called blot that allows you to gain piety via human sacrifice. 
and the piety amount you gain will be dependent on the sacrifice and will change between 25 and 250. After you educate your child as an Asatru and start playing as him or her, the conversion cost will be decreased to approximately 10,000, which is quite achievable. I suggest going on pilgrimage every time it's possible to gain huge amounts of piety like 600 and passive gain by a pilgrim trade. In, in 70 years of life, you will have chance to go on pilgrimage at least three times, which will provide 1,800 piety total. Also, because of the trades we opened via the learning focus tree, uh, the passive gain will be something like 10 per month and it will provide approximately 4,000 piety in 35 years. Uh, if you do not get yourself harmed via battles, it is not expected for a character to die before 70s with the whole of a body trait. Well, nearly 3,000 piety left. Go and pillage. Sacrifice as many as prisoners you can find via pillaging. An average sacrifice will provide you 50 piety and after 60 executions, you will gain the required amount of piety. I know it is too much human sacrifice, but it could have been worse. Think about the execution voices in the Crusader Kings 2. By doing so, you can convert to a dead religion and start spreading it anywhere you like. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked and subscribed. See you in the future videos.